Greetings. We are the Arcturians. We are very sympathetic to the challenges that you face there on Earth, and we know that sometimes you are compassionate when looking at someone else in their struggle, and other times you are not. And it is harder for all of you to be compassionate when you think that the person brought something on themselves, but when you realize that you are creating all of this, and so is everyone else, then you know you can cut that person some slack for having created what they created, because whether they are doing so with their choices in the lifetime or before the life began, everything is a choice. And yet, living with one's choices can be very hard. And that's why it is important for you to have compassion for everyone, because everyone is carrying their own cross. Everyone is facing a challenge or multiple challenges in their lives. And while it may look like some deserve those challenges, and others do not. We say to you that from a higher perspective, everyone is the same. Everyone is playing a role there on earth for you. And so if it is easy to withhold your compassion for someone because of the choices they have made, you can always ask yourself whether you sometimes do the same when it comes to having compassion for you. Are you hard on yourself because you think you could have or should have done better? Are you hard on yourself because you think you could have paid more attention or ignored the signs? There's no real good reason to withhold compassion, and when you offer it, you expand. And what you are expanding into is your higher self. And therefore, know that your higher self is compassionate towards everyone, no matter what their circumstances, and you are there to become your higher selves which means compassion is a big part of the equation. It's a big part of everyone's journey. And sometimes there's more compassion for self needed. And sometimes there's more compassion for others needed. And other times people need to have more compassion for themselves and others. But compassion will always be the way, just like forgiveness, acceptance, and unconditional love. These are the ways to the fifth dimension to becoming your higher selves. These are the ways home to source. So you can tell when you are moving in the right direction by how you feel. If you feel yourself expanding, you know in that moment you are becoming your higher self. If you do not feel yourself expanding or feel yourself contracting, that's when you are not, in that moment, taking the fast track to the fifth dimension. You have these opportunities presented to you in every day. You hear about something or someone and there will be an opportunity for you to be who you really are as a compassionate being. And there will also be an opportunity for you to withhold your compassion and stay right where you are in judgment. And that is why you can look at your thoughts as well and ask yourself, am I judging myself or that other person? or that group? And if the answer is yes, then you know you have to change your own mind in order to become more of who you really are, which is a heart-centered being of unconditional love and infinite compassion. The Solar Light Body With the powerful energy upgrades we have experienced this year are truly testing many souls currently on planet Earth. With the physical body, and indeed all the bodies, having difficulty keeping up with incessant light quotient building, which is constructing new solar light body form. For I am always told that if this happens quickly, and we are being carefully monitored to see to what degrees we can handle the energies, it would blow out our circuits and could even disintegrate our bodies completely. I have been challenged since October last year in so many ways and I have learnt that when I my body needs rest, to rest and make more time to go inwards and also more time in nature and connecting with Mother Earth. More than this to call in angels, archangels, ascended masters, as when help is necessary. It has been scientifically proven all dis-ease in the bodies are linked to certain parts of the body and the underlying emotional charges which cause the dis-ease. However, it is necessary when such discomforts in the physical form occur 
to go and look deeper at the root causes as the emotional body is directly linked to the spine and it is where unforgiveness, shame, blame and guilt, alienation, separation and all those abandonment issues. The root cause of pain and suffering are stored not only in the soul memory banks but also at cellular levels. As by divine dispensation all karma has been lifted, this does not mean that issues will not come up from this lifetime and others, all those patterns of pain we created with other souls. For we have been given free will and choice. You can choose to hang on to all the emotional charges, all the bitterness, anger, hurt, etc. and refuse to forgive yourself and others and add to this the victim mentality and all it entails. Yet, why shoot yourself in the foot? You cannot take any baggage with you to the new earth and it is still hindering the new light body form from fully being activated in some form or way we are not always conscious of. Indeed, you can have so many activations via other souls who transmit or channel such or have healing sessions but if that root of your own inner self, you do not wish to let go of the root cause of the emotional charges or mental overload or false programming or clinging on to duality, judgments and separation, healing cannot come in the deepest root core and cause. I do clearing and cleansing with the white flame every single morning and if need be at nighttime too. I also work with the various forms of the white flame Noting that the violet and green flames are for healing in the deepest sense and for all your bodies. I also find that with upgrades deeply buried things are coming up which I had totally forgotten about or which were so deeply buried that it needed to surface to be healed but also to be understood in the context of repeated patterns of behavior and habitual ways of living life. It is a total dismantling of pain and suffering and separation in all forms and expressions. This included the self. For is it not that we often can forgive others but find it very hard to forgive ourselves and then beat ourselves up for years after something happened? It is time to forgive and find inner peace. This of course extends to the whole humanity and all in it and all the miscreations in whatever form or way. This is a totally new life and new beginning offered for all of us. You have free will and choice. You can choose to let go and be transfigured or not. In truth, some will take longer than others, but in the end, all souls will find their way back to wholeness and unity, even if elsewhere in the cosmos. For what has been created by the divine can never be separated from its core even if they choose to deny this within themselves. In truth, there is only love and loving grace. Love always heals in the deepest and profoundest sense and indeed miracles happen when we finally surrender everything and allow ourselves to become as one with all that is and one with the divine source and find ourselves at home within and within out. The heart knows what the mind cannot conceive. The heart in truth is the holy grail. The holy chalice for it connects directly to the soul. The soul is infinite and directly connects to the oversoul and soul group or monad, the mighty I am presence. At this moment when a huge soul group merging is taking place on all levels, we have access to the community of knowledge as stored within such soul groups which are merging. It is here that the mind will immediately limit or think of impossibilities. Yet the infinite heart and soul know this at the deepest soul levels as connected to the immortal truth. The heart center is where holy grail of pure unconditional love, love everlasting, love infinite, love immortal. The more the heart center expands the higher the access to the infinite knowledge of the soul. The more I transmit soul records into writing, the more I realize this. For deeply embedded and created within every single soul are divine light, divine love, 
divine power and divine wisdom. It cannot be other, for your soul is immortally held within the divine source, the Father, Mother, God. So are all souls and soul groups, for in truth we are all one with the divine source, and in truth all is one. One love, one heart, one soul. The more you meditate on the infinity of your own soul, amplified by the soul group, the more will be revealed to you. For I often find that one steps into immortal realms where human words simply are not sufficient and it is best felt in the deepest core of the innermost sanctuaries of the heart, the holies of holies, where the truth of love and the soul reveals itself to the true seeker.